we launched a spam filter and this was with HDFC. Uh, I remember Shashi Jagdishan coming to me about a year and a half ago saying, listen, please do something, help us with the bank fraud that's happening. So what we did was we created a dedicated pipe between HDFC and Airtel. Uh, we put an AI solution in the core of our network so that every message that was actually coming from uh, HDFC we knew was a legit message, but any message that was purporting to come from HDFC, we knew it was a fraudulent message, and we were able to block 99% of those messages. Um, we then took this to all the banks, so now many of these banks have uh, taken this particular solution, which is our spam shield solution. But there are problems with it, and I'll tell you, because it really requires a dedicated link between one bank and, uh, and the operator, and unfortunately, it doesn't mean that you know, customers are generally protected. Second, you've got crowdsourcing apps. So you've got Truecaller, for example, which is an app. Now, you need an, the application that is there on the, on the phone, or you need somebody who's downloaded the application as access to your address book, and therefore, it's not a foolproof solution as well. And then, of course, you've got what uh, the government has been talking about, which is a calling name presentation, which really will show up your name, but you and I know that many customers don't have the same on their names. And if there's a fraudster, even if it says Rohit calling, that doesn't mean the fraud is going to be prevented. So this, again, is not a solution. And so many of these solutions, if you really think about it, they're purely reliant on user feedback. Internet connectivity is needed, uh, which, is a, which is the application that I talked about. It requires the app to be installed. Uh, we've tried to do this on Airtel Thanks app. Uh, there are privacy concerns, and malicious actors keep changing their, spims, uh, their sims. So really the vision for us was to say, can we develop a solution that can really address every phone on our network? And that was really the starting point. Uh, but before I do that, I must also say that many telcos have tried, and they have not been holistic about it. So in the US, a very large operator has actually tried this, but again, they put a spam filter and didn't have a comprehensive solution. UK a company with uh, operations in many other parts of the world has also tried it. East Asia has tried it, Korea specifically. European operators have tried it. But again, they are focused on restricted use cases. So they focus on, let's say, robocalls, which are kind of boxes that get inserted, and calls get made on an automated basis. There's no human doing it. This is what typically in the industry we call a SIM box, also called rob robocalls across the, uh, across the world. Uh, but these focus on restricted use cases. They're reliant on user feedback. As you know, any application, today we have a strong digital uh, footprint of our, of our own applications, but they don't reach all our customers. They reach about 35% of our customers, and that's true for all apps. Um, and they, like I said, they don't reach all our customers. They require only an in-app solution or they're offered to B2B customers. So what we really did was we've taken this as a challenge, and we took it as a challenge about a year ago, we had about 10,000 man hours of data science work. We put in uh, 12 months of really solid effort in terms of uh, both the solution as well as testing. And we had a 50-member cross-functional team really working on it in a, in a um, you know, highly confidential, stealth-based way to say, can we solve this for our customers? And I'm happy to say that we found something that's really, uh, really, really, um, I would say, effective. Uh, the scale of our solution, I just want to give you some numbers. The reach of the solution is for every user of an Airtel smartphone. So it's regardless of whether you've got an application or not, every user will have this automated and delivered to their, to their smartphone. We are going to look at 1.5 billion SMSs every single day on our network. We're going to look at 2.5 billion calls every single day on our network. And... Um, Sorry. And the, the speed at which this will be assessed and processed is in two milliseconds. I mean, for those of you, I don't know how many of you know what a millisecond is, how, what, what's the duration of a millisecond? May I request you to just, maybe Kiran, if you can just clap. That's like 20 milliseconds or 30 milliseconds. So two milliseconds is a tiny fraction of two hands coming together to make a clap, even after an intention to make a clap. What are we analyzing in two milliseconds? We've got over 250 parameters that are being analyzed.